Alrighty, let's watch this here. So, a couple of thoughts. I think it's definitely a good start. I think you have to look at in terms of style and, and speed. Because there are two things. You have a really fast drop that could potentially indicate, you know, a certain snappiness and style. But then the move over is a bit more naturalistic where I feel like there's a bit of a conflict in terms of speed. Personally, I would slow it is down and it's almost like we can zoom in here. Hold on, I gotta, it's gonna be very messy. I gotta move my my thing down here, hold on. Where, all right, so she's like this, or it, there's a slight hip accent there, huh? I guess we can make this a bit smaller maybe. Maybe like that. That could be, I think, visually a bit more like that. If you can even go maybe a bit bigger. Because I don't think you need all of the beginning. Just throwing that out there. Because we get to see this. I would probably have it more maybe like this. Comes into frame. And then, but you see, even if you do this, you can see how we just pop into this and then that and then immediately a land but if i go back to what you have here let's bring this all the way up here we have an immediate popping of all of this like even when you have a character entrance if you had one more foot here into this or even part of this and at the very beginning maybe something like that it would just ease us into this drop but then the tricky thing is if you look at i'm bringing on some onion skinning you have your root here right then the root is here that is a huge amount of spacing next frame your root is here and then way down here so it's it's a odd pop if i just go by dots here somewhere in the middle there's a couple, maybe this one's not accurate. There's a couple weird things happening here where you can see that there's a huge amount of spacing where the next frame would have to be down here and then here. You know what I mean? Where I would take this, this down here because you got to continue that momentum. It's almost like you can take this frame out and then you get to this. But then you have to go down a bit lower and come back up. So right now, to me, what's happening is that you have almost a pop entrance. And then this weird pause spacing. And then pop back into a down. But then this is not enough of a compression. It could potentially work. Let me try something. So I want to open this up in quick time. What I'm going to do is just take that one frame out. Because I can't do this in the current player. Imagine you cut this out. Oh, wait, 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 that's not the one. We want to keep this, but we don't want that one. Cut. See, that already feels better. There's even potentially enough compression, actually. Compared to this, it just has that extra little Thing that just feels slightly off this is super subtle i don't know if you can see it like to me it just feels a bit off this feels better but it's still extremely fast so to me just you have to decide do you want this to be this fast but then you're gonna have to have a bit more exaggeration in this to me personally i would give this the couple of things i would do given the size of this and we are in this more subtle range there i would keep it uh this type of framing and size and you can even go i mean potentially you know how about a bit lower like this are right? we in the thirds ish then the entrance would be this but then one more this one this a bit lower and then this into that recovery that's personally what i would do because it's just really really fast it really slams down everything you can see how this arm pops here into frame, I mean. Then you got two here, and then BAM! Suddenly goes back down into this. Same thing with this arm being here, 
here and then pop into that. So that to me just needs a couple more frames to smooth that out. I do like that and the compression, especially the overlap on the head, that there's some good follow through in this. That arm, watch out for the spacing as we go back. Like once, let's pretend we're past the poppiness. Once you're here, there's a bit of a, you have a nice move over, but then it has a little bit of a hold through there. It's not hold as in not moving, but it's kind of stuck in that direction, especially through here. You can still have that because you're starting with a bit of an arc, which is nice. But once we get to here, it gets a bit straight. And now we're really holding in this. And I think you're saying you're switching from FK to IK. This could be your IK hold. Then. So it would loosen that up. And you have a couple moments where it goes down and stops, goes down and stops. You know, a little double frame here. And then spacing wise, you're going up and a bit like this. It goes up, maybe a bit over with an arc, but then suddenly pops down. Needs a bit of a, a smoothing out in terms of all of that. Now, mechanics-wise, this, this is where it gets really kind of wonky. The character pushes off, and I would probably have that toe pointed out so that foot is a bit more out towards us or away from us. Like right now, you got knee and foot straight at us, but this is a bit too defaulty, making this like a very short foot. I would give this a bit more perspective, and then you might have to bring out that knee, kind of play around with that a little bit more. But when you push off that foot, a couple of things. A, that foot is getting off the ground, which is a bit odd. You got to keep that planted down. So there's always pressure on this and even kind of almost rolling out this way because of the compression and pushing out this way. That starts to feel a bit broken. I understand that you're down the, here for the land, but then I would try to rotate that foot over down just a bit sooner. But the main thing that I'm having here, I'm kind of getting lost in the details. What happens now is you have a, a, a leg bend fairly straight towards camera, which gives us silhouette wise a really short leg compared to a longer leg. So that's why this will help you with the foot out this way so that you have a bit more of a, an understanding of the structure of that leg. Once you push that off, because again, this feels really shorter than this, this root has to go off way more over this way. Because once you push off here and the timing is kind of slow that once you're here, you're so off balance with this off the ground that the character would fall back down this way. I'm just not buying this section whatsoever because the weight is not over this foot. We're still down here and it would come back down. So this would have to be something where your character is actually leaning this way, which all the weight is on this foot, on this leg. The hips are more like this. So you have a bit more of this going on while this leg is up in the air to then take a step. It's just this doesn't quite work balance wise and mechanics wise technique wise you have a bit of an overextended arm that kind of pops into this this head feels a bit locked in the same orientation and then you kind of hit this hippie pose without much of a recovery there's a bit of a shoo, like a lot of pivoting off the head if i do onion skinning here imagine that head is here and it all kind of pivots off of that. A lot of movement there. Now we'll give this a bit more side to side in getting over this leg and then coming back up again. A bit of a shift over, if that makes sense. Like you're leaning into this without coming back a bit. And I wonder if there's a, I if you're doing an extension in the spine. She feels, or it feels, the character feels like it's, it's, shrinking like it goes down i don't know to me it feels like this is this weird change of this is okay structure wise but then we go up and that just feels just broken visually but then we're getting up there and again watch out the bend would have to be away from camera so we understand the leg size this feels short but then as the character puts the foot down you'd almost expect the root end to go up a bit a bit of a straightening but we're just, we're just kind of locked in this area with this pivot off of here and then the dropping where it's just something where I feel like something has scaled down. You will know. I don't know if you're doing any leg scaling or anything going on, but there's just something off to me on that end. Well, it's probably visually mainly because the pivot's off of here. 
but I feel like it needs it needs more side to side involving the whole character. Like there's too much side to side with the pivot off of here. Hope that makes sense. You want to take the step over where you really feel like this is the rotation the root is going to take, right? Because this is the length is not going to change. The root's going to go up. And then go up here and then come back. That's probably what I'm reacting to most. Imagine your character is here and then leans over. You would have all of this moving over with the hips going like that. I understand that they would drop, right? Because you have a straight leg, you're leaning over. But I would take this chest area more with it. I think that's probably the right way to explain this. There's too much pivoting off of the top part and not enough of an overall move over with a bit of an overshoot and settle. So that's kind of what I have here. To me, like the speed is a bit fast. Watch out for some of the arcs there. That just feels really off balance and wouldn't really work mechanics wise and balance wise. Give this a bend in the legs so you understand the structure so this doesn't feel like a short leg. And then get away from the super pivoty top pivot feel of this weight shift there. All right. I hope that makes sense. Let me know if not, and then we can discuss this. Thank you. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.